Hi everyone, welcome back to Library DIY. For this month's DIY, we are creating essential oil diffusers and we will just be using some felt wool balls like this and optional as well to have um, used some wood beads. So really some simple supplies that you'll need for this. You will need yarn and thread, which we will supply all of this if you come in person to DIY, which is Tuesday, March 9th at 6 p.m. But it's sort of a drop-in, so you can come in any time between really 6 and 7. And this is a really quick one, and it's also one that's really fun to do at home too, so as long as you have all of these supplies already at home. So you'll need the, um, the balls, and then some yarn, and a needle. And the hardest part, I think, for this uh, DIY will be just threading your needle. So once you get past that point, um, or if you're already really good at threading needles, you're familiar with sewing and all that, you're fine. I'm not much of a sewer, so that one just, it just took me a few attempts. But once I got it, um, I went ahead and then tied a knot at the end. So you'll want to make sure that you have a fairly decent sized needle because this will need to go through your balls. So we're going to thread everything onto this yarn. So that's really all we're going to do. So we're just going to start with one of our balls. We're going to thread our needle through. And then you'll just um, pull that through your string. So just like that. And then if you want to throw some wood beads on there because you can actually diffuse, so you can um, use your essential oils both on the balls and the wood beads, um, that would be perfectly fine if you wanted to do that. You can do any kind of color combination that you want. If you want to do all the same color, um, if you want to do alternating colors, I think these are really pretty colors, very spring-like colors. I'm going to go ahead and just throw another wood bead on. And then what you can do with these, you can hang these in your car. This is really great. Our cars probably are not smelling the nicest from winter. We may have noticed um, here lately with the warmer weather. So these will be really great to have in your cars and you can use any of your own essential oils. If you're not familiar, familiar with essential oils, we do have lots of books here. You can of course just hop on Pinterest and find more than enough information on which essential oils to use. Uh, and again, we have, we'll provide those two here. Um, but again, if you have favorite ones, then definitely use those. And then I'll just thread my last one here. Maybe. There we go. And then once you have those threaded, so you can do a couple of des different designs. You can do a few different balls, and then you can, what you can do is you can, um, if you would do probably about at least six of these, then you can actually make a circle and you could hang it like that. And I'll show you what that looks like. Or you can just do something like this. So I could probably put one more wood bead on the top. And then basically then what you'll do once you once you're done, once you have the design that you want, you'll just cut your yarn and then you can just hang it from your from your rear mirror, from somewhere in your car, or if you wanna put this somewhere else, if you, I mean, this could even go in a school locker. I mean, this could go anywhere. You want to just freshen up um, that space. So it's really great and versatile and can be multi-purpose. So there it is. That's just what I have. I'll show you the one I did. Go ahead and I did one where I made it a circle. So it just looks really cute if you do this, but you don't have to. It's just really cute. And this will look really cute hanging from your, you know, your car from your rear view mirror. And the final step will be once you um, have the, the yarn tied together. So you'll tie either, you know, at the end of this, you can just tie a knot just to make sure that um, this won't, um, you know, fall off the, fall off the string. And then I just, have a really simple piece of burlap here that I tied so I can hang it. And then I'll just choose whichever of the um, essential oils I like. I'll just add a little bit on my my wool balls and my wood, uh, my wool balls and my wood beads, and then I can hang it up and I have myself a nice little car freshener. So the whole idea, if you're not familiar again with essential oils, are they're just a few drops go a long way and they're also much healthier for us Sometimes we, you know, buy a lot of things from the store and we don't necessarily know all of the ingredients and they may not always be the healthiest ingredients for us. So it's really good for us to be able to make some of these things at home. We know exactly what's going into them. So nothing toxic. It's all, um, you know, of course, always be careful with essential oils. But again, you know, this isn't going on your skin or anything. It's just going on here. So it's just a really natural 
way to make your car or whichever space you decide to use this smell a little bit fresher for spring. So we hope you are interested in joining us. You are welcome to join us in person. We do just ask that you give us a call and let us know that you're coming. So we have plenty of space. If you are interested, just let us know. You are also more than welcome to let us know that you would just be interested in picking up the supplies and doing this at home. So this is something, you know, you could always do with some of your kids too, um, as long as you're just helping them, you know, supervising them. It's definitely something very simple, nothing too complex. And if you're interested in doing that, let us know that you want the supplies and we can get a bag ready for you. The only thing we won't be able to provide if you do this at home will be the needle and the essential oils. There won't be really any way to be able to, to give you some of those things, but we would be able to give you the wood beads and the wool balls and then some of the yarn. So let, um, let us know if you're interested and we hope that you're having a great start to this month. We do have some fun things going on, including an upcoming celebration of Iowa Flag Day. So be, be tuned uh, for the details coming out for that very soon. We have some great things planned and we hope the weather continues to cooperate and, and give us some excuses to get outside and just soak up some of the sun and the, the warmer weather. So um, please, again, reach out to us for any questions that you may have, or if you're interested in this month's DIY, and we hope to see you or um, hear from you very soon. Take care.